Well, the players are pumped. This is all star footy, and we rip into rugby league for 2024. Jesse Arthurs will send that man, Leo Thompson, careering back at the defence. There'll be some real grunt in this early defence. Here's Bromwich. Oh, he was a sitting duck for Hopgood, who came racing in. And Kerr to secure him in the tackle. Brandon Smith away to Xavier Willison. Up into the starting lineup. And now Tuckman, eh? Tackled by Josh Curran. And also Josh Kerr. And now Jesse Arthur is a try scorer in this game last year. Playing at fullback this evening. And the first kick of the night off the boot of Jerome Hughes. And the Fox so agile. Backpedalling. And he's able to take it on the full. But there's some rough attention. Gagai down there. And uh, so too Nikora. Well, he gets a warm reception, the hammer. He might be a dolphin, but I think the locals still have a lot of appreciation for Hamaso Tabuai Fido, who started his journey in the NRL as a cowboy, of course. Adam Elliott. Tackled by Tarpanay. And down to Nico Hines, kicking down the short side, as he invariably likes to do. And Arthur's with the catch, and he gets roughed up in a good kick chase. That's Kerr down there leading the way. Sideline tonight, a twice winner of the Preston Campbell medal, including in the inaugural game back in 2010. Jonathan Thurston, good evening. It's uh, spectacular down here on the sideline with the atmosphere. As you can see, the conditions, 27 degrees, humidity, 87%. We've had a fair bit of rain here since this morning, but that won't stop the ball movement from these two sides. The wind is favouring the Mouldy All-Stars, so let's see what they can do with the ball. The sixth clash between these two outfits. Two wins apiece and a draw in there as well. And I really hope this rain doesn't temper the attacking nature of this game. Oh, Mitchell whacked! Gagai got him with a beauty. He's lost the ball. Yeah, Look at the reaction there of Dane Gagai. If we can get a replay of the reaction after he tackles Latrell Mitchell. People think this game's Mickey Mouse. Doesn't mean anything. Just watch the reaction here of Dane Gagai. Dane Gagai's represented both the Indigenous and also the Maldi team tonight. Represented his, his father. The reaction there. It's a great reward for consistency. Jerome Hughes, his first kick was fielded in the corner. And that gained the field position. The second one was a, was a contest. They were on their man. First try scoring chance, Nick Arima. They sweep left with Arthurs joining in and Staggs with a tackle on his Brisbane Broncos teammate. Willison. It's a strong contingent of Broncos out there tonight. He's another one of them. Goodness, he's a big man. Five from the line. Smith out the back. Tarpanay. Hughes had to give himself away, although there's a set restart coming. So six more tackles for the Maori team. Deep in Indigenous All-Star territory. And Tarpanay with that typical spin. And he crashes over. Has he got the ball down? He thinks he does. Yes, he did. It was the technique of how he spun in the tackle, Joseph Tarpanay. He uses his hip here. Was it Mosley that went low? Here's the kick. Harvey Norman replay. This was the pinpoint kick. The pressure was right on the scene as Latrell caught the ball. And Gagai goes whack. And the force of the tackle just, just jolts the ball. And there's the spin in the tackle from Tarpany. It was Mosley who went low, he used the hip. And then spins in the tackle, makes himself hard, gets low to the ground. And the Maldi All-Stars, they open the scoring. Isn't he a gun? What a play. Started his career on the edge. He went to Canberra. Eventually, Ricky Stewart put him in the middle. He is an absolute gun. Well, he's got skill with, with the power. You just see here, the footwork, 
and then the spin gets nice and low to the ground and drives his legs. He's got all the tools, Joey. Yeah, what a player. They've lost some troops in their back line, Canberra, namely Jack White, of course, but they have a very formidable forward pack still to take the field in 2024, and he's very much a leader of it. Well, the young guy coming off the bench, Trey Mooney, you saw glimpses of, glimpses of him last year. He looks a player and a half too. Wait till he comes on. And Boepa Puru who will come off the bench for the Indigenous All-Stars. 21 years of age, a couple of NRL games for him. So Ricky Stewart does have some young guns at his disposal. Nick Arima from next to the post makes it 6-0. Early points for the Maori All-Stars. 6-0. Oh, he put a foot over the line. That was a good left-to-right swinging kick off Luttrell's boot and perfectly positioned. I think Luttrell may have been holding his breath for a second or two there. It looked like it may have gone out on the full. Well, they get a chance to strike straight back here in the Indigenous All-Stars. Shaq Mitchell. Third All-Stars appearance. Hoping to add a 14 NRL games for South Sydney in the season ahead. Out to Hopgood. Tack strong. Willison and Thompson dragging back past the 10. Now Kerr. A real steal about this middle defence by the Maori outfit so far. Mosley sweeps it through Trindle, and now the Fox in the corner. They get straight back on the board. Well, there's the class we've been looking for. You know, Fox, Josh Adokar, he's in the corner. It was a beautiful pass by Trindle. Created the space by a little bit of structure on the inside, but when Trindle gets the ball right here on the Harvey Norman replay, with Latrell Mitchell, he just skips to his out, reserves the space, and then fires it to his speedster. Trindle does the work on the inside, and then Latrell just connects with his indigenous brother, the Fox. Down to you, JT. Yeah, it was great work by Braden Trindle. Jermaine Hopgood come around to his side and was going to run a decoy for him and he got him on the inside to hold up the defence. And it's a class act work of art when you dig into the line. He gave it enough time for Latrell Mitchell to sum up the situation. There it is, Josh Adokar scoring in the corner. And a flex for the cameras too. Now he's got something written on his hand. I know. He's trying to work. What's the double pump here from Latrell? It makes it look so easy. Says Nen. Uh, on the armband. I like the new haircut too, Fox. Well, you see there, Joey, he caught the ball behind him because he was leading into the space. And that's, you get an idea of wingers understanding when the, the ball's their ball, they lead into the space. And Josh Adokar does it as good as anyone. Nico, from almost as far out as he can be in the driving rain. Swings left, Two certified superstars of rugby league combining. And they enjoyed it. Latrell and the Fox. The first of the night for the All-Stars. 
And uh, rumbles back. And now to Josh Curry. He's went to Canterbury during the offseason. Well, good last night, the Bulldogs, in the, the first try. Oh, the young players really stood up. Mm. Mosley! A dummy and run through the middle. And he milked six more. Good. Back to Mitchell. And his legs swept away by Brandon Smith. Himself a Preston Campbell medal winner back in 2020. Out to Khan Pereira. If he has any space whatsoever, he will explode through it. He is so quick on that right wing. Mitchell again. Back towards the post where Willison's waiting for him. Mosley. Away to Trindle. A kick through, and Arthurs has to tap it over the back. So sustained possession for the Indigenous side. Great opening nine minutes there from Braden Trindle. Billy, we're just talking off camera. I think this year Braden Trindle should wear the seven and Nico wear the six. I know halves these days is not a difference, but psychologically, I think going to the game, Trindle should be, in my opinion, be number seven. Well, I think in time that will happen. He, he looks like a, a natural number seven as they go short here, the Moldy All-Stars, and they get it back. Well done. He, he does look like a natural number seven, but with Nico Hines wanting to play on the football, I think him wearing the halfback jersey at the moment is, is where it sits, but it does look like a formidable combination, that, that Cronulla Sharks combo. Handy bringing a club combination into a game like this, especially in those two next to each other. Yeah, especially in those two positions. Yeah. Mm. Good driving defence by the Indigenous team now. He's a good player. Too. Oh, big shot! Did it creep up high? It did. Yeah. And Josh Kerr, he flew out of the line. He blindsided Walker. Walker still looking at the football. He feels the pressure. Bounces up off the football. He has run hard and tackled hard in the opening 11 minutes. It's his first touch, isn't it? Walker's on. <laughs> Here's Matt Timoko, another of the Canberra combination. Rose through the ranks for New Zealand representation. Trindle with a shot this time. Leo bumps off though. And still ripping and tearing. Leo Thompson. Nice touch to see the players, the club logos on each of their sleeves as well. Good tackle. That's Trindle again. Well, he doesn't think he's playing half that. Smith scampering. And Hughes with a run off the back of that. Only tackle four, and they find themselves down inside that red zone. Walker, dummies. Taken by Mosley and uh, Hopgood, but he's lost the ball. What about this year in the Premiership, Bill? Who do you think? for you goes in as favourites? Well, you've got a team that's won the Premiership the last three years. So losing a couple of star players, the Penrith Panthers, they, they've just got this system that holds up in the, in the big games. They're very consistent, so they're going to be there about... I like the Roosters. I, I think the Roosters will, will turn the corner on what happened last year. They've got a quality team. Well, they've bolstered that with Dom Young and Spencer Lenny. Yeah, a couple of quality players coming into already what is a great outfit. So I'd be surprised if the Roosters don't, don't aim, aim up early in this season. The NRL is helping to raise funds for the people of Woodrow Woodrow and surrounding communities devastated by flooding following tropical cyclone Jasper. Donate today 
by scanning that QR code on the right of screen there, together we can make meaningful impact. Juggled by Hines. Pass to Elliott, playing it on a right edge tonight. Typically in the 13 for Newcastle. Hines again, backs up, Mitchell. The ball lost by Katoni Staggs. Well, neither team looks reluctant to play expansive football despite the conditions. For Tapane once again. Nineteen on the field for the Indigenous All Stars. Jordan Grant. Down around the legs in that tackle. He's moved to the Panthers during the off-season. 29 years of age, has had huge raps for a long time. I don't think he's had a great run with injury. He played seven games across three seasons with Melbourne as Mitchell is able to defuse that high kick. Giant of that. Yeah, the 17 on, is on also for the Indigenous All-Stars. Bailey Beyond Odo. Young man from Innisfail. Coming off, look out. Coming off an ACL repair last year. Did you see that pass from Latrell then from Dummy Half? <laughs> Just dead set thrown at 30 metres. Look at the wrist. Good cattle from Innisfail. Trindle. From deep inside the 40. Taken by Arthurs, but Addo Carr hustles down. And Curran's got through a stack of work defensively. And now Hopgood races out of the line. Gee, Josh Curran's looked like a really good player on a few occasions in the last couple of years. The Warriors did some excellent things for them. He was in the Rooster system there. They really elevated himself when he went to the Warriors. Oh, another big tackle. It's Hopgood. He's, he's put a couple of big ones on Hopgood. Yeah, twice this set he's thrown out of the line. Oh. Oh, miss kick. Well, that's the pressure. That's the pressure of the line speed, and you can put that down to Jermaine Hopgood. And twice in that set, he took it upon himself to lead the line speed, get out, and put pressure on the ball carriers. He just gets his technique wrong here. Wrong side of the ruck to kick. And then you see his hips are pointed towards the sideline a little bit. And he's going to hook that ball. Here's Jordan Grant worth pointing out to 20 minute quarters in All Stars football and unlimited interchange. It's Bailey Butler. Ladies football, the Capras in the uh, Queensland Cup. Ten tries last year. Not bad for a big man in the middle. Here's Khan Pereira. And the crowd sense when these speed men get half an opportunity. You heard the. Enthusiasm really click up there. Now Porto on the field. Another of the Raiders. Out to Trindle. A kick ahead. Arthur's mishandles. Two for Josh Adokar. Well, there's a bit of an error here from Jesse Arthur's, but Braden Trindle, he's got all the artillery in his kit bag. He's got the little show and then puts it on on the toe in traffic. You see here, Harvey Norman replay. Hines connects with his number six. Little show to bring the defence up. And then puts it on the toe. Little fumble with the pressure on him from Arthurs. And Josh Adokar picks up his second. Good to see the halves playing together. The Harvey Norman replay, getting that good field position. You want your best players, your creative players playing together. And there it was, Nico. Plays to his his other half's partner, Trindle, and they lay a try on for the Fox. Yeah, that's it. Camera two. Very nice. Just watch this. A little double pump, as Billy says, brings the defence up and then gets it in behind. Gee, looks like the Fox has locked himself in the gym for a while. In the off-season as well. Mate, I saw a picture during the week. They all had the fish. Must have gone out fishing. But a lot of fish and no shirts were on. There's plenty of abs. 
he was ripped in the photo. Well, they're not making life easy for Nico. Let's see if he can correct sufficiently. Yes, he can. Great kick. What an entertainer he is. Regardless of the jersey he is wearing, the fans flock to see the Fox. Josh Adokar with two tries. And the Indigenous All-Stars out to a lead as we approach the end of the first quarter. There's Trey Mooney, highly touted. 15 for the Maori All-Stars. And Hoepa Puru. Youngest player in this Indigenous All-Stars outfit tonight. Hines with a kick back across them. Oh, it's on a mission, Josh Adokar. Well, that's twice now he's used his speed in defence. I mean, just surprises the ball carrier how quick he can get to him. Smith. Searching run through the middle. Wants a quick play of the ball. Now Gagai in there trying to race away. Up to the 30. Walker playing at lock. And this is a pass from Mooney. There's a player the hit. Hit on suspicion the there. Katoni Staggs. He comes flying out of the line. So the end of the first quarter. So now it starts to kick off again. What are you doing? Cody yeah. Mikarima wants to take a kick. Surely not. Just watch the bottom of the screen here. No malice. If anything, he tried to stop and braced himself. You're getting back to this year for the title. Geez, I think the Broncos will be hard to beat. I think if you go out of the last 30 years, any young team that loses the grand final, the early 90s, Penrith lost one. I think in the mid 2000s, I think you guys, the Storm, lost to Brisbane in 06. You went on to. Win a few, and then even Penrith before the three-peat. They got rolled by Melbourne. You learn about not only the game, but the week leading up, how to handle the week, the pressure of the week. I think Brisbane, for me, yeah, will be hard to beat. I totally agree. I've got to overcome the loss of Tom Flegler. And Herbie Farnworth. 10-8. The Indigenous All-Stars over the Maori All-Stars after the first 20. Good timing, too. The range is starting to... Uh, Intensify somewhat. 10-8. Entertaining. First 20. First try to the Maori All-Stars and the Fox has gone bang bang. Here's Big Royce Hunt. Oh. <laughs> Hit me harder, he's saying. Is that all you got? He is truly one of the most frightening men on the planet, Royce Hunt. He's got 130 kegs. And boom. Okay, you lifted the leg and dragged it around. Lifted uh, this is one of those adjustments to the rules, lifting the leg and dragging it around. Here it is to be charged. Oh. Adam Elliott. Pick your targets, Adam. See Tamari Martin in the background. He's like, what are you doing? What are you trying to hit him for? To kick off. Oh, 
Which has Tavanga. On the field, doing the dummy half work. One of four Warriors out there. Well represented, the Warriors, in this match. Walker, there's another one of them. Off the left shoulder to Royce Hunt. He's just a powerhouse. And they have another set of six now. You fancy the Maori team might just be hard to hold here. No look pass from Jerome Hughes. Good tackle, Bailey Butler and Curran on the always probing Britain Nikoda. Walker, Hunt. A metre out in line with that right hand post. Nikarima feeds a lovely pass. That's Jack Howarth in 19, and he's got over the line. He's had one NRL game, the Melbourne Storm, back rower slash centre. But Todd Smith thinks he's had a second effort. Well, he spins out of the first tackle, young Jack Howarth. Yeah, it's a double move. determine if it's momentum or whether there is a second effort that promotes the ball to the line. The ball's on the ground at this point with the defender in contact. There's then a second effort to promote the ball to the in goal. We have a decision. Boys, behind. On the line. So, enthusiasm and uh, a little bit of desperation perhaps for Jack Howarth to make an impact gets the better of him. He was very highly touted Australian schoolboys representative and Jack Howarth. He's from Mackay and he has a massive future in the game if you talk to anyone who's seen him around Melbourne. Centre back rower. Hines across the ground and brings Grant underneath. He's almost as tall as Royce Hunt, Jordan Grant. There's some G forces in that position that they come again. Hines over the top, finds the ground, and Nicky going to make the fullback. To Mare Martin on the ground. Push back past his own 20. Zach Fulton. And a taste of uh, All Stars Rugby League for the first time. It's been lost by Martin trying to race from dummy half and picked up by Bailey Butler. Trying conditions, humid and wet. So ball handling, the most difficult. Six more tackles for the Indigenous side now. Grant out the back. Ooh. Double knock on. Then into Jazz's arm. Double knock on. First Indigenous. Just pushed the pass when they had the tackle count restarted. Yeah, just surprised Mosley. I don't even know if it hit his hands. It hit him on the face. Do you remember watching him in, in the under 20s competition, Kieran Mosley? Wow. It's during that time when the Warriors had that team of Sean Johnson, Conrad Hurrell, and all those players. For me, he was the pick of the players in the whole competition. He went on. He played too much in RL. No, he had a played with Penrith, Penrith with the Titans. He looked like could have been anything. Still runs around the Queensland Cup. No release. Another mark. How much do your lungs burn with your first hit out after uh, pre-season, Billy? Your lungs burn every hit out. <laughs> Just, up here, Just in particular the first few. <laughs> Takes about a month, four, yep. four or five weeks, before you get your match fitness. But five minutes in, Royce Hunt's lungs would have been burning a minute and a half into this quarter. Well, Royce's lungs were burning before kickoff. 
Yeah, I'd be, I'd be fatigued doing the harker. <laughs> that must be fatiguing. Walker into the line, Martin. And the Howler threw in the wrong line and they collided with each other, but they've still got possession and they're still in a good part of the ground. Inside pass to Keenan Pulisia. No, 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 he's gone to his head, mate. I've got concern about the head there. And Jordan Grant, the player in question. It was a nice pass from, from Dylan Walker. Big Selby went from the outside backs into the middle. Drops his head, gets the hip. He may have even got a poke in the eye. He's 29 years of age, Jordan Grant. And another one that the Panthers have picked up. They, they're pretty selective with who they recruit from outside that system. They've signed Riley Price, son of Steve Price. What, what position is he playing? He's back row. Lock forward. Okay. Brad Schneider. We saw a bit of him with Canberra before he yeah. went to England. Tackle four. Well, they need some depth in that front row, losing oh. Spencer Lee Here's Howarth. He looks likely. Yeah. He's got good footwork for a big man. Walker. Chance here. Hughes. He overran it out wide. Oh, yeah. no. The winger wasn't where he needed to be. That was JoJo. For oh, he's got it. Oh, he got the ball back. There's a set play. <laughs> well, he's avenged himself. Now Jazz Tavanga. Almost broke down there. Mooney with it. Runs towards the post. Kerr secures him. Mosley part of it also. Martin. Ball's been spelt. Oh, Stags tried to kick ahead. He's got an offside penalty. Yeah, not the night to be throwing long balls. In these wet, really humid conditions. It's the short passing which will trouble the opposition. Yeah, the Indigenous All-Stars have been rushing all night as well. Coming from outside in, putting pressure on, okay, when you're on ready. the pass and also the receiver. Well, mate. And Howarth once again. Walker. And trying to slip through the middle. Mitchell with a strong tackle. Now, Trey Mooney's got an issue here with... Uh, I might have been a leg at first. Right. Look, Pulisia trying to burrow there. Oh. See, they've had some sustained pressure down this end of the ground. Now, Jerome Hughes has stopped, and everyone kind of stopped with him. Curran still made the tackle. They've used three on this new set. Tavanga, Martin, Howarth... Throws a pass in behind, missed everyone, and Adam Pompey had to rush back to get it. Another run for Jack Howarth. Great work, Jack. Jack Mitchell, the defender. Martin with a high ball. Oh, good take by Hammer. Marley, you've got some news for a sideline. I certainly do. Jordan Grant has come off for a Category 2 HIA, which means he'll have 15 minutes to pass protocols and see whether he can return to this match. Oh, Josh Kerr straight through. Good in the corner. Gotta let go. Yeah, rewarded for finding space too, big Josh Kerr. He just got in behind the play the ball. Legs tackle and fought his way to play the footy. And Tavanga didn't let go, so earn himself and his team a penalty. They'll get good field position. Done a great job defending their try line, the Indigenous All-Stars. Now they'll use their strength and go on the attack. Jermaine Hopgood. 
had 133 tackles against 83 so far, the Indigenous team. The possession count 62-38 in favour of the Maori All-Stars. Trindle, a lovely kick try! The hammer slices through all of them and got it down. What a great kick by Trindle. It was perfectly weighted. That was a great kick, but you can't substitute speed. He had to take the long route, Hamaso Tabiofido, and he still won the race. Beautiful kick here on the Harvey Norman replay by Trindle. And then Hammer, he had to go around Dane Gagai to get to the ball and he still got there first. That's great identification oh. by Trindle and then the hammer. How's the left arm? How's oh. the left hand? Did he get it down? Yeah, he got it down. Once again, great kick, Braden Trindle. Was that a fins up too from, uh, from the hammer? JT. Yeah, great work there by the hammer, but you can put that down to Josh Kerr with his run coming out of the backfield. He found his front, tried to get a quick play ball and earned the penalty, which got them down to this end. And Braden Trindle, what a start to this season he's having with the ball in hand, putting it over the top for the hammer to score right there. Hey, JT, Beautiful. have you been in and around camp with the Indigenous boys? Oh, yeah. He's a freak, that boy. I have actually, Joey. Uh, Who, just yesterday. In, who's impressed you? Oh, they all they all have. They've come through very well. They've done a lot of cultural stuff this week, uh, a lot of dancing. Um, they've learnt five dances as Nico Hines comes in to make it 16 8. Sixteen eight now, and the speed machines are keeping the scoreboard attendant busy. Two for Rado Car, and now the hammer on the board. Big shot. That's Kyle Labert, and he's a local. He's a cowboy, and he's up smiling after Leo Thompson clips him high. Yeah, hang on. Not off with. Been quite impressive yep. the handful Top of opportunities he's had at first grade level. Kyle Labor in the centres for North Queensland. Played for PNG last year. Call him in. It's his brother. Yeah, Zach. Zach's the centre. Which is the younger brother? Because the youngest brothers are generally the better players. <laughs> Is Kerr net? Oh, nope. They challenge this. There's a ball ah. plant. A call from Todd Smith. Ball planted. Ball planted. Yeah, I explained to me you ball planted. Okay, so the first defense against you. Can challenge? What about the Warriors this year, Bill? A lot of viewers, Moldy supporters, we following the Warriors. I'll be looking forward to seeing Roger Tuovasa-Shek come back to the game. I Do you think he'll play centre? I believe he's training in the centres. Okay. Um, Charles Nickel Cookstar, he, he was superb at fullback, so I wouldn't be changing that. And they're a top four team. Yeah. I, I, I love the passion they played with last year, and the whole the whole country got behind them. Not just New Zealand, but half of Australia yeah. as well. Up the wires. Yeah. The key is Sean Johnson. Yeah. 
Picked up Kirk Capel too in the offseason. He's, he's a really good guy. Yeah, I think they're a top four team. There's someone else you're forgetting. Roger two of us a check. We just spoke about him. Oh, sorry. He had us on mute. Chanel Harris Tavita, I think he's back, did he? he had a sabbatical. Yeah. Tune out when we're talking sometimes. Yeah. Gagai. Everyone does. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, Leo Thompson again. Fulton. Remember that stash she had with JWH at Brookvale? That was brilliant. <laughs> Cup and A. Thompson through one. That was quality by Tarpany. Within reach of the line now. Here's Tapane again, trying to shuffle across defenders. Put down a couple short. Last tackle. Brandon Smith appealing for an infringement. Leo Thompson, look out. Oh, it comes off a hand. It's gone backwards. It's gone about 50 metres upfield. Well, at least 30. And uh, Nikura has swept on it. And now we've got a penalty. Josh Kerr, well offside. Well, Cody Nikurima. Josh Kerr, well early. I was really happy to hear that whistle. <laughs> I thought Jack, I thought Jack Howard's pass was bad. That one went back to the halfway. Yeah. So, so this should play on off the hammer. So that's that's ricocheted off the hammer. Apologise, Cody. Been a bit stop start this 20 minute sequence. Let's see whether the Maori team can uh, send us to the half time break with some points. They did score first. Brandon Smith, Leo Thompson, so willing tonight. I don't believe he's only been playing regularly for a handful of years. Yeah. Kicked by Hughes, off boots and swept upon by the hammer. A little bit impetuous perhaps that time. Well, that's the pressure of the defence on the try line by the Indigenous All-Stars. Again, Braden Trindle reading the play. Oh, Mitchell's cough one up. And a chance for a hit back straight away. It's a double knockoff. Yeah, they're well prepared, the Indigenous team. You can see the way they're attacking, but in particular the way they're defending. Coach Ronnie Griffith is coaching the Newcastle Knights New South Wales Cup team this year. He's, the last two years he's coached the NRLW to premierships. He lost two games as NRLW coach. Two games. Mm. He's the assistant coach of the All-Stars team. 20. 20 through 2022 20, and has taken over the top job in the last two seasons. Oh, they've lost another one. It's Timoko this time. He's hardly seen any ball, has he? Timoko. That was Ali. It went where the pass. What about that for an offload? Mitchell. Big Shaq. He looks fit too. Tackled by Smith. Puru playing it. Dash from beyond the Odo. He's got scintillating pace at a dummy half. And now Labert. 31 from the uh, 21 for the Maori All Stars line. Hines kicks out wide. Khan Pereira is there, but Pompey. High above the pack, takes it nicely, and Staggs drags him to ground. Thirteenth staging of the All-Stars game. It's a contest everyone looks forward to each year. Started as Indigenous All-Stars versus World All-Stars back in 2010. I think that was the first game we saw Sam Burgess 
on Australian soil. Is that the Gold Coast? Yeah. The Wendell scored. And they got the, the corner the post with the didgeridoo, right. yeah. Ball plant, lost it. Now you've got to be on this side. It's this side of the post. Okay, over here. Scrum line, scrum line or 10 in? Yep. Strong block on. Referee Todd Smith, is he our first red-headed referee in the NRL? He's from the Northern Beaches too, isn't he? Mick Stone's a redhead. It's down, Cody. Strawberry Bluff. We're not really Ball getting into this territory in game one of the season, are we? Stags feeds the scrum beyond Diodo, fires it to Hines, and Trendle sends the speed man on a race upfield except he shanked the kick but uh, often they're the hardest ones to defuse <laughs> Nicky Reamer gets back there and Puddle leading the kick chase with Katani so the game very much in the balance it might be a matter of who holds the ball the best in the second 40 minutes well looking at the stats the Indigenous team should be behind by 10 or so points and really well. The Indigenous team only had 45% of possession. They haven't really controlled what they've had. Hughes, there's a class kick out to Arthurs. Great pickup. Snaps it back to the middle. Hines is back there sweeping and so is Mosley, but the ball beats them all. And it's his favourite play, Jerome Hughes. He looks in and he kicks off that left foot and gets out to the outside defenders, showing his class there, the halfback. Half time in the All Stars game for 2024. Indigenous team 16, Maori All Stars 8. Rose, well, thanks for your time. Good to see you doing so well. I tell you what, Tom, I used to love having him playing outside me. Jeez. Oh, what a footballer, Greg Inglis. Thanks, uh, JT. Great to have Greg Inglis part of the Indigenous All Stars camp. A good man. Looks like he can still be playing. He looked fit, didn't he? Oh, word. You know, we were hard to beat Melbourne with Billy Slater and Greg Inglis on the same side, weren't they? Geez, Ralph Lau. <laughs> if in doubt, give it to Greg. <laughs> so 16 8. Indigenous All Stars statistically haven't had the rub of the green here, but they lead three tries to one. Two for Josh Addo Carr. And both of those came in the first quarter of the game. He's seeking a hat-trick. There have been three hat-tricks in All-Stars Rugby League across the years. Two of them came in the same game. 2013, Ben Barber and Reese Robinson. And last year, Selwyn Cobbo got three. He scored them all in the last 20 minutes of play. There's talk that Selwyn will be playing in the centres this year for the Broncos. Yeah, he's been training there all pre-season. And filling in for Herbie Farnworth. Gets a little bit closer to the action. So he'll be partnering up with Ezra Mam on the left-hand side. And you think another year for Ezra. Yeah. Just turned 21. He's already scored three tries in the grand final. What a player he is. Gago racing through. The Fox has spilt one. More ball for the Maori All-Stars. Gago has got the ball back. Leo Thompson worked himself to a standstill out there tonight. Well, this is where the Maldi All-Stars need to improve. They would have spoken about their goal line attack at half time. Martin. Off a left foot step. Back on the inside where he's trapped by Mitchell and Hopgood. Hughes, dangerous runner close to the line. They're just missing that second wave of attack. Maldi team. And they've had changes at fullback. Chopped and change there. It hasn't helped. Six again. Oh, gee, fourth tackle and a restart. Well, they're just playing one pass footy. The Harps are going to get together and bring their fullback into play. They've asked nothing in the first couple of plays on this refreshed set. Tarpanay. A metre away from the line. 
Ball swept to Hughes. Out the back to Karima. Mitchell was there at marker. I wonder if they spot that and dab him behind the line. They opt to run instead. It's with Keenan Pulisia, who's moved to the Gold Coast Titans during the off-season. So close. Can they find a second try? Bromwich after a kick. Well, he's not going to outpace the hammer. Not even he's going to get the ball back from that position. A yeah, nice end of the set. Rescued a really poor set there with a great kick. Someone's got to take charge here. I think it's got to be Jerome Hughes. Just play on the ball. You mentioned the Gold Coast Titans. Mm. I think that's their one team on the up and up. I think they'll make the eight this year. I think they're in for a big year under Des. It's not going to go the 10. Now, instead of there being a penalty, this is going to be a changeover now under these new rules, which really, it, does it encourage the short kickoff? Of course it does. You know, this is where teams like to defend. You defend inside your 10, you have one marker, and you put your full back in the line. Mathematically, very hard to get an overlap. Just repeat possession here for the Maori outfit. Hughes with another run and Hopgood with another tackle. Right underneath the post when that was played. Smith away to Martin wants someone to punch into a hole. It was Timakor. Their defence has been really good on their goal line. Hines the man. Martin again. And Walker over the shoulder. It was off an Indigenous All-Stars hand. Six again. Oh, the Fox with a big shot. It's been five minutes straight. No ball for the, all, the uh, Indigenous All-Stars. They've just been defending their line. And what a shot that is to force the turnover. Yeah, the hammer was nearly away too. And it's Josh Adokar oh. comes in this time. The play before, he solved the problem with his speed. He had to spin. This one here, Jerome Hughes kicks over the top. The ball comes out the back. And just watch Adokar just solve the problem with his speed. Gets there nice and quick. And on the second occasion, he just reads the play. That was doing his work with the speed. The second time, he did did his work with his knowledge. He just oh. reads the play, comes in on Gagai. What a game he's having. And the hammer was nearly away. Well, the stats, once again, 62% of possession for the Maldi team. Indigenous boys, their defence. They were ripping in for each other. Nine and the Penrith Panthers are proud to present Undisputed, the documentary which follows the Panthers behind the scenes in their run to their third consecutive premiership. Don't miss the premiere exclusive on nine at 1 p.m. coming up on March 10. Great vision that. In the coach's box and the cameras inside some of the players' houses. Trindle's passed that forward and they've made a mistake on the back of it. When you watch Trindle here, he's in two minds. He was thinking kick, he was thinking grubber kick. A player like him, you've got to trust your first instinct. And he was thinking grubber in behind, grubber in behind for the Fox and then pulls it back. You can see his reaction. In those positions, especially a player like him, so instinctive, you've got to trust your first instinct and go with it. Surely they score here. And with that much field position and that much possession since half time, it's been all, all down this end. They've had all but one set after the break. Howarth has looked handy so far. Now Brandon Smith spins away from one defender. Desperate tackle. Hop good around the leg. Saved the try for sure. Six more tackles, though, and he's standing in the way. I think he wants the referee to blow the whistle and give them a penalty. Uh, Katoni Staggs is holding his shoulder. He's still down in back play. He's in the line, but he signaled to the bench. I think it's a left shoulder. 
Here's Royce. Oh, he nearly reached out. Held up. Tackle two. Back there. Tackle two. It took four men to push him back in the field of play and then prevent him from getting the ball down. There's Katoni. He doesn't look too troubled, but as Billy says, he's been holding that shoulder for some time. Yeah, he made a tackle about three tackles ago. He's still in the line. Dylan Walker. What have they got by way of some ball movement? It's all been one-out stuff through the middle of the ground, largely. That's not going to work. Well, they've got to work out who's the dominant ball player. Who's the dominant half out there? Tavanga. Hughes. Gago with a tap on. Arthurs has to scramble back to get the ball, but they've lost any momentum they may have had. Last play. Hughes. Big bomb. But no one there to catch it, and that's a pretty meek surrender on the last tackle. And now Khan Pereira. Doesn't he move nice? Oh, love to see him in the clear. Now Katani stacks. They're full of running, the Indigenous also. They've tackled themselves into a standstill after half time, yet they've got the temerity to, to throw some punches with the ball here. Khan Pereira once again. Pardon me, that's it. Bailey Biondiodo. And now Jordan Grant. Had an HIA examination earlier, but he's obviously passed that. He's rolled it between his legs and lost it. You enter ball plan. Rock on. It's a scrum. Where do you want the scrum? Ridden. Head up. Now this is middle. where Scrum's Tony middle. sustained that injury. Or at least a knock. Yeah, it's more of an impact. Be a stinger. Uh, Billy Jack Howarth. You see some of him in uh, NRL for Melbourne this year, do you think? Yeah, potentially. He's had a big off season. He's nice and fit. He's outside back, centre, back rower. Mm. He's a big man. Like I mentioned before, he's got some good footwork. Train hard, Bill. Trains hard. Smith. Six more. He wasn't square there, Jordan Grant. Uh-oh. Okay, it's tackle one for the Marcus. It's one of these syndesmosis. Don't say and that. They get caught up. Don't say that. Twisted. Trent Robinson's in the fetal position. Synthesis trend. Now to Bunga. Oh, he's copped a knock. Nick Cora. Good tackle by Grant. More goal line defence here for the Indigenous All Stars. The kick by Martin, he's trying to isolate the outside. Man, what a take, Khan Pereira. That's a brilliant take. Lofi Khan Pereira. He gets up and owns the airspace. Brian Kelly. Oh, he's still on the ground. That Pompey. Yeah, that's Brian Kelly on the field. Just gets his body in a really good position there. Protects himself up high. Bailey Butler. Loffy's okay. Marley, some news? We saw Katoni Staggs holding his shoulder a little bit earlier. It's looking like it was just a stinger. He came off for a check, and Broncos fans can sigh relief because he's coming back. Excellent. Thank you, Marley. 
Nico on play four. Can't find the ground, and Jerome Hughes sweeping around the back. He's able to take it. Good crowd at Queensland Country Bank Stadium when you consider the conditions. It's been fairly consistent rain right throughout the day. They've really embraced the occasion tonight. Is it, did I see Jerome Hughes go off the back of the field then? So there's been more changes in the halves. And yeah, Jerome Hughes has gone off, so there he is. Gone off for a breather. So now who's going to be the lead playmaker here? And someone needs to stand up. Just at the moment. Smith's asking the same question there. Who do I pass it to? Dylan Walker was the answer. Spiral bomb. Great kick. Good take. That didn't look good. Not sure, might have winded himself. Brian Kelly. Good ball. Oh. Picked up now. Big <laughs> God. And he sprints away, Xavier Willison. Oh. He nearly fell over. Martin gives it. Oh, oh, he's dropped the ball. Beyond Diodo with an effort to chase after Timoko, but they've, they've actually dropped it over the line. That was comical. Xavier Wilson, he gets the ball, and he's dreamt of these moments. He's in the clear. Charging, and he's thinking, pass, pass. Nope. And then what happened here? Oh. Oh, it's cruel sometimes. You poor old Jordan Grant. <laughs> having the, the funnest of knots out there. Oh, no, he dropped that from the scrum. The referee missed it. Well, these are the nights when it's with this a bit of rain and it stops and then the humidity. Is it 95% humidity? Did they put that up before? Close it's always 95% humidity in Townsville. Especially at the Mad Cow. <laughs> it's, it's 100. It's dripping off the walls. Oh, Trell. That's a strong run. The hit up of a back rower. Played to Kieran Mosley. Hines, get it out of here. Good kick. Great kick. That'll turn momentum. And look at the chase. Well, what it does is it turns the Mouldy All-Star forwards around. They've got to go back 60, 70 metres before they can contribute to the set. Well, they won't get back to play three or four. Plug and play four. Yeah, there's not too many of them there, is there? You can have a look at them. Look. And you're fatiguing the strength of the opposition. We're at the play three now. And they're still not all back behind the ball. Timacol runs into Trindle. And by, by the time they get back, they'll have to chase again. That's a, that's a brilliant kick. So Dylan Walker's obviously gone to half back. Good chase on Mitchell. Big Royce Hunt. How do you like that bearing down on you? No, thanks. We're now at a car. And Kelly with a determined run. So they're out near the 40 metre line. Willison, the defender, Mosley. Away for Josh Kerr. Season move to the Dolphins last year. There's another team that's building nicely. With the experience of a season in the top grade and another full off season, plus a couple of handy recruits. You mentioned the two Brisbane guys at Flegler and Farnworth. You throw Jake Avarillo in there also. He's a good bite. Yeah, they recruited well, the Dolphins. 
What, what about the Panthers, Joey? Losing a couple of stars last year and then again this year in Spencer Lenu and Stephen Crichton. Where do you see the reigning premiers? Well, I thought that last year I didn't think they could win it because they lost so many players. But once again, they've, their depth is going to be tested. I think from 1 to 20, 21, 22 of their squad will be really strong. But they've got those young players coming through. They've got that junior system out there. And they just pick up the slack. I just, I can't see them winning again. Although I didn't think there were any chance. Oh, here's a drop. I didn't think there were a chance last year. But when that bloke wearing the number seven is in form and injury free. It's rare actually that you. I, I think Spencer Lenu is going to be a huge loss for him. I was just going to say Crichton, I mean, he's a centre, oh, but he's... he has such a profound influence on that team in big games. Defensively. Well, he's potentially the best centre in the game. Do you oh. think you'll play centre at the Bulldogs, or do you think you'll play fullback? I think he may play a, a bit of both. I, I think he'll start off in the centres. Young Taff will get an opportunity at fullback. But... I think Taff's at fullback. Yeah, I, I do too. Sometimes we can worry about who Penrith don't have and we forget about who they do have. So a last throw at the stumps before three-quarter time. Willison can't get the ball down. Geez, he looks likely. Is he at the Broncos? Yep. He's a giant. Walker floats for Parathas. He can't get there. Great hustle by the Indigenous All-Stars. Kept the ball in, though. That was neatly done by Jesse Arthurs, but Dylan Walker's lost it instead. Again, the speed of Khan Pereira gets him out of trouble defensively. That was a beautiful pass. Just lofted over the top by Walker. And then Khan Pereira, he, he gets there easily. He had some company, though, didn't he? Luttrell was over there. Trindle, they were all racing to that threat. Oh, it's been a highlight of the game tonight, the defence from the Indigenous All-Stars, especially on their try line. Yeah, that rushing defence. There's a there's a few ways you can get around it. The early kicking them behind. Or you can send some big men at the edge of the ruck at their halves at Nico or Braden Trindle and double up and go down a short side. There's Latrell Heads Mitchell. Down. Oh no. Heads down. Shot clock off. Not the knee check. Time off. Ball in but at the moment they're, they're trying to go wide with this rushing defence. It's just not working with the long passes. So three-quarter time. <laughs> Latrell and the trainer in conversation. He doesn't look too concerned. Good chance for Dimitri here is. 16-8, the Indigenous All-Stars leading the Maori All-Stars with 20 minutes left. We're into the last quarter, so they know exactly what's coming. If they get the opportunity to attack the goal line again, they'll know the Indigenous All-Stars will be rushing. Here comes Big Shaq Mitchell. Well, Leo Thompson, I'm not sure whether he's even had a break so far. It was an enormous performance in the middle. And Kerr's also had some impressive moments in Indigenous colours. They're out to the 20. They lead by eight. Points at a premium tonight. Conditions not letting themselves to exciting ball movement. It's actually been the Indigenous team's goal line defence, which has been the standout. Hemisau has gone back to fullback. Luttrell tweaked his knee there right on three-quarter time. Do you think that's his best spot, Billy? Hemisau? At club level? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think whenever Hemisau can get involved in the game, the team's in a better position. Ooh. He's going to get more opportunities at fullback. They mind him in the centre. Well, he didn't do a bad job in a Queensland jersey last year, did he? He did all right. Once again, the stats, the Indigenous team only had 38% possession. And the defence. 
Here's Trey Mooney. Handful of top grade opportunities for Canberra. Came through New South Wales under 19. A chance for Hughes running in open space. Chips over the top. The hammer's back there. And he's going to have to give himself away. He tip toes. He's going to get back in the field of play. That's oh. amazing. Extraordinary. No way. That was incredible. What about the balance? Well, it was everything. It was the speed, the balance, the power of the fend. And then he decelerated to get back in field. Here's the Jerome Hughes break. Beautiful kick. Attacking from a little bit further out. He tiptoes along the touchline. Look at this. Bang. Beautiful fend. Oh, oh he's, he's been he's stepped out three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, can, you can tell he's a North Queensland. Who's refereeing Barry Gomesel? <laughs> it's in Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Wally had him on speed dial. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've only stood on the line three times. <laughs> if, do we bring, bring back the, the in goal in goal judge? Bring him all back. Jesse Arthur, he's back out there. Is he playing fullback? Well, Jerome's out there. Billy, you know Andrew before the game was telling us he wants three referees on the field. Yeah. Good kick. With the hammer one on one with Gago, this will be interesting. He palmed him off, but enough time for Thompson to come in aggressively. I don't think it's too many players who just. Bring a crowd to life by simply going near the football like Hammersay. <laughs> Elliot Shire the halfway. Hopgood. He's all call it, isn't it? Now Heinz. Trindle. Opportunity. Oh, they lost the ball. Just watch this pass from Nico. Just watch the way he digs into the line. Just how straight he plays, which holds the defence. The straighter you play as a half, the straighter the defence has to hold. It creates that three on two. He should have iced that. Katoni gets the ball in space. And then Timoko gets a hand to it. Beautiful pass there from Nico. Again, it was the combination between Nico Hines and Trindle. It's good to see him not splitting up, swinging both playing together. Well, down the short side, only using the third of the field there. Some quality touches from Nico again tonight. I don't know how many games they've played in the NRL together in the house. Nico and Trindle. Where's Mido? Come on, mate, do something. Well, you remember well, Matt, Mo Matt Moylan. Matt Moylan played a lot there. Well, he was dropped last. Come on, mid our lift. <laughs> Had a big off season. <laughs> Go, Brandon. Oh. Tackle four. I don't have any elite. Come to a knock yeah. to the head here. Must Tackle hurt him if he's wincing. Yeah, that's how I saw it too, Joe. To hurt him. Tackle four. No, I thought he put Seven of the last eight so games. Brandon, Ooh. I mean, sorry, Mine's clocked him. He places it, mate. I take your point, though, Luttrell. Nine is so proud to present Undisputed, a special behind-the-scenes documentary detailing Penrith's run to their historic Premiership three-peat. Episode one is available right now, streaming on Nine Now, the first of three episodes. So as soon as this game's wrapped up, 
you head there and have a look. It's very interesting. I watched yeah. it today. Get a great insight to the Penrith Panthers and how they prepare and the themes they use. It's a, a monumental coaching effort, my love, Cleary, to keep a team motivated to succeed. And they won the last three. They were in the grand final the year prior. They've, they've played in four grand finals in a row. It doesn't matter what talent you have at your disposal to keep the team ticking along and driving each other to succeed each week is a massive performance. Oh, the Fox gets manhandled. Good tackle down low by Tarpane and Howarth with added assistance up top. Butler this time. Now Hines, he was thinking about a long kick. He passed to Elliott instead. Off the left, back to the middle. Hit strongly by Mooney up around the ball. Centre of the ground. It's Trindle with the kick. And up and under. And the Cronulla fans get excited. Right, these two halves are combined. As the season goes on, I think they'll get better and better and better. Well, Will Kennedy had that hamstring injury at the back end of last year. Getting him out of a whole heap of footy. Cade Dykes is back from the knee. Yeah. He's got to learn to win those big games, the Sharks. Yeah, that's, that's the key. Game Trindle. Trindle. Oh, he's, he's got the burner on the shoulder there. He hit him flush. He's holding that shoulder. If we can have a look at that tackle again and just hear the contact, the noise. Just the timing. He stands tall, he drops late. This is the error from Tarpany. It was the play before. It was a tackle from Trindle. I think it was on House, wasn't it? Players in motion, which is listening to that noise. Really Stop and strong man for a five-eight club, Charlie. He doesn't. Care. You, don't, him. you don't get that, that that perspective watching on TV, but he, he is a solid, solid build. Oh, I remember talking to Craig Fitzgibbon about him a couple of years ago. He said you'd love him. He's an old-fashioned halfback. As he said, doesn't shirk his defence, he loves the defence. Hines on the boot, Stags might have been taken out of play there. Yeah. Grab on to Tony Stags. Tony Staggs graduated to uh, a Kangaroos jersey in the Pacific Championships at the end of last season. What an athlete. Yes, Marley. Brandon Smith has come off for a Category 2 head injury assessment, but unfortunately for the Māori, as there is not quite enough time for the 15-minute assessment left on the clock, I don't think we'll be seeing him again tonight. OK, thank you for that, Marley. So, a fraction more than 10 minutes remaining. It's an eight-point gap. They've had nearly 60% of the ball, the Maori team, and they've managed one try. They have time whether they can manufacture something to result in the try. We'll find out. Can Pereira, Can Pereira, down the sideline and over. Oh, oh. oh this is special. Well, the pass was special. But Lofi Khan Pereira, just watch him drift on the pass. Drifts outside his man as the ball's floating through the air. This is a special try. Just all on the same page, the Indigenous boys. Harvey Norman replay and the pass. Goes straight to his man. Beautiful play.
Well, that's the highlight of the night. Firstly, the pass from Nico. Inch perfect, but as Billy said, the movement off the ball. He's got to look at the ball coming and he's got to be aware where his defender is in front of him, where the touchline is. That, that, that's special. Well, he starts 12 metres inside the touchline and he catches the ball five metres inside. That's how far he shifts sideways. That lateral movement as the ball's floating through the air. And Pompey didn't know where he was. He thought he was in front of him. And by the time he had the ball, he was a couple of metres outside him. And at Clubland, he plays the other side. He plays on the left side. Well, he scored, scored a t stack of tries last year. He's who, who would you back over 100, him or Hammerside? <laughs> no idea. Or Chili Philly. <laughs> He's a coin. <laughs> Pereira, where's he from? Well, he has Pakistani and Sri Lankan heritage, but the Queensland origin coach points out that he qualifies for Queensland. He's a Queenslander. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> because he touched it before the ball stopped. I thought he's from northern New South Wales. Because he touched from it, Queensland. it's a penalty. That's he had to touch it when he played Nico, that was a beautiful pass. That was a highlight of the night for me. You didn't even put the Fox in that race. No. Jason Saab? No, no, just eat them two. Match oh. race. Good old fashioned match race. That'd be that'd be good viewing. What would you what would you put the prices up, Bookie Slater? Even money. Is Even money. <laughs> Look at the coin. I'd like the I'd like the Josh Kerr Xavier Wilson <laughs> sprint. <laughs> That'd be more of a wrestle. Oh, ball bounces well. Kelly gets it away. Addo Car he gets back, keeps it alive. Kelly again. I think Royce Hunter finished in that match race, by the way. Well, if he's listening, I'd say win it. <laughs> Off oh, the trail. He's back. That's positive. Now uh, Curran. Now Kelly. This is good stuff. Good Curran stuff. again. Stay now. Stay. Well, they've got this game locked up. They want to have some fun for the last six minutes. Hines. Can they get there? Latrell, he'd love a try as captain. Stretching, straining. I don't think so. Agreed. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, Tarpany. Coming in and Tarpany six. gets under the ball. Have no try. And he's hard to he's stop from this range. Latrell Mitchell, big, powerful. He looked like he was going to get there, but you see Joseph Tarpany, he's got eyes for the football. Two determined if Latrell Mitchell grounds the ball. And he gets underneath it. Ball remains and he's up held at this up. point, but we lose sight. Now that was really entertaining play by the Indigenous All-Stars. It's Matty Bowen on screen. Ball still appears up at this stage. Well, he's, one of, he's one of the great Indigenous the players, Matt Bowen have a from Hope Vale. Did you play with Matty Bowen? Played with Matty Origin, Bowen yeah. for Queensland. What a player. He could do just the most freakish Hold things. Hold! Go, no famous interceptor took at Suncorp Stadium. He still plays, Matty Bowen? No. Is he? I saw him play a charity match at Redcliffe Oval last year. Still got it too. And Jonathan Thurston and Matty Bowen when he played the Cowboys. Mm. Uh, JT, you still with us there, sideline? He would have been fun to play with Matt Bowen. Oh, he certainly was. All he had to do was to provide a little bit of space 
for him and he could do the rest. A bit like Latrell and Mitchell. Uh, Joey asked me before who's impressed me with the Indigenous All-Stars and Latrell when he got named the captain saying it's the highlight of his career and he's achieved a lot already in such a short space of time. Uh, to see him uh, lead this team in the years to come will be a sight to see. Yeah, absolutely. There's one premierships origin in Australia so he's done it all. Yeah. Space, space. from the official start of the Premiership. Vegas. Great to have you the boys going back. to Vegas. You're staying here with you, Andrew. You going to Vegas, Billy? You get a little mate on the sidelines going to Vegas. Are you going to Vegas, JT? <laughs> Come on, mate. There's a HR decision not to take me. Surely there's a HR decision not to take JT. <laughs> I think the laugh says it all. Is that a yes? <laughs> that is a yes. Uh, he's, been laugh, he's been laughing since the boss asked him if he was available. <laughs> so it should be fun to launch a season over there at Allegiant Stadium. Roosters Bronx, how good. What a game. The Roosters and the Broncos. Who else is going from now? The Fats going. Daryl Lockyer. Freddy. Freddy. Freddy, Danny. Is Daryl Lockyer going? I don't think Daryl's going. <laughs> Daryl's definitely staying home. <laughs> is the fat working or is this a junket? Junket for the fat. Right. The fat working. <laughs> Those two works generally don't care. <laughs> There's a golf game in That's there somewhere. Ball. Working on his swing. <laughs> Hello, fat. I love the redheads in Vegas. Oh, it'd be great to have the fat back with us in 2024. So, the hammer with three and a half left. It's going to be another Indigenous All-Stars win. They're going to go back to back. They did it on New Zealand soil last year. And they come to Townsville and will retain the trophy. It's the Arthur Beaton Cup they play for. Mitchell over the top. Carl Pereira, there's that little bit of space. They close down quickly, though. Pompey with a good tackle. And now Stags. Had a tackle count restart in there too. So that's only play number two. Ooh, testing pass. Well done, Elliot. Hines and Mosley. In fact, there wasn't a tackle restart. That was just a graphic playing tricks on us. Oh, high tackle by Curran, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, Jazz! Oh, no. Just a penalty for a high tackle. Teammates? Well, they were. It's okay. Boys, he's got a penalty they, for a high tackle. Walk back. Curran's gone to the Bulldogs. Yeah. Yep. Josh, come oh, on. Yeah. Jazz. Walk back, Josh. Come on, let's go. He's got a penalty for a high tackle. Walk back. He's just, just left the Warriors. Back. Yeah, they were teammates. Teammates wrestling. Who would have thought of that in rugby league? They were. They were eye to eye in the wall cry as well. It was Josh mm. Curran. Time off. It wasn't a lot of force. Gus has been busy, hasn't he? Josh Curran, Jamin Salmon. Kurt Mann. Kurt Mann. Drew yeah. Hutchison. Jake Turpin. Blake Taff. Crichton. Stephen Crichton. Some of the young players last night, the first trial, they looked sharp. Yeah. Farmer Silly. Oh, it's a Farmer Silly. Bronson Sherry. Got a try last night. Looked strong, looked quick. They had Kiko out long term last year. They'll have him back, so it is a totally new look team. This young fellow's in for a big year. Mm. And Toby Sexton. He was a mid-season signing last year. Indeed. Do you think he's he's the halfback? Oh, I think so. And Drew Hutchison there as well. Connor Tracy's another one. Wow. I thought Reed Marnie went really well last night. Ball player. It's passing. Not a club full of Reed Marnies, wouldn't you? 
Oh, he's an effort player, Reed Laney. Great take. Tony Staggs, escort. He ran underneath the ball, escort. Yeah, he sets the standard, Reed Money. There's a reason why he's the captain. Mm. He sets the standard with all the effort areas in the game, but like Joey said, he's still got that quality of pass. And dangerous out of dummy half. He's a Queenslander. So the Maori team, they've had so much ball tonight. Just one try. Oh, he got there. It's a second try. And it's uh, the man that's been very impressive in Xavier Willison from Brisbane. Well, he's been their best player. Looks like he's in for a big year. Big and strong and mobile. Oh, we spoke about Tom Flegler moving on from the Broncos. There's a position there vacant. Harvey Norman replay close to the line, the big man. He just burrows over. And no flag luck. Fletcher Baker moves up to the Broncos, but this man, he'll be pushing for a spot. So they're going to come up short, but no doubt a uh, bright point in the careers of many of these Maori representatives, as it is their Indigenous counterparts. Flashes of brilliance at times tonight. The conditions haven't helped, but Gags is kicking. Nice strike. Full time in All Stars 2024. And the Arthur Beaton Cup remains in the possession of the Indigenous All Stars. 22 14, the full time score.